Good day, Dino friends. My name is Build a Boat for Treasure, and today I'm playing Build a Saurus. Wait. As you guys probably know, in my live stream, sometimes we do the great boat show. We've done this like a lot of times. We've shown like hundreds of boats, probably in Build a Boat for Treasure. And it's just you guys showing your boats. It's just a lot of fun. And like a year, maybe two years ago, I tried to make it into a really like long video and I put like a lot of work into it. And it didn't really work because it was just so hard to make. I was like, I'm, I don't want to make more of this. This is kind of hard to make. So so that's why I never actually tried to make a part two. But now the idea has come back to me. What if we just show one boat every day? We just do like one boat a day. That would be pretty cool. And it would just be like a simple short video. And you guys get to show one boat every day. And then I give like, I rate it. I give it numbers. If you don't know how it works later, I will explain it. Anyway, that's what this video is about. I just want to ask you friends, would you watch this? And if you think this is a bad idea, please tell me why. I think it would be kind of fun. So if your friends don't know, I used to actually make daily videos, a video every day for like, um, a year or two years when I started the channel and then I kind of stopped and ever since it's been really hard for me to make videos I think that is because if you do something every day it's just easier because you are so used to it uh, it just becomes super easy to do so that's why I think it's really good if I should try maybe to make a video every day again however I cannot do it if I do it like before where I make like a really big video every day so this could be the solution just a short video every day just it could only be like a few minutes maybe maybe like two minutes maybe five minutes i don't know how long does it take to show a boat i don't know maybe like five minutes maybe 10 minutes i don't know but it would be a short video every day where i just show one boat and it would be just to try and see uh if i can do it or if it would still be really hard for me to make daily videos like that by myself i know there are other channels out there that show boats but this is kind of different because we don't really have any rules like who's allowed to come in i don't really only show super special big boats it's like everyone can join everyone as long as you have a boat or or a build that you want to show you can join you just join and i rate your boat and there would probably be some funny moments too where's the remote for this tv watch out something on your shoulder so I think everyone knows how the Great Boat Show works, but just in case someone doesn't know how the Great Boat Show works, let's actually use it on this boat that we're seeing right now. This boat was made by someone called Pedro, or Pedro, I think, and basically here is how I judge people's boats. I give them a rating from 1 to 10 on different things, like how big it is, how cool it is, how fast it goes, that kind of stuff. So let's just start. Okay, I'm going to start with overall design which means how good does the boat look when you look from afar so like first it's kind of like a first impression so i'm going to have to be honest you know i'm trying to be a fair judge so i'm only going to give it a three out of ten because from far away first impression it's just a gray block it's just a kind of a gray thing and it doesn't have any like cool colors and things going on it's just this gray metal thing so three out of ten next up size uh for size i'm going to give it a six out of 10 because it's not too big not too small it's actually a pretty decent size for making it to the end if it would be longer it would probably get stuck if it goes sideways but it could be a little wider it could be a little taller i think it's kind of an effective size and shape but it's it could be better it could be better so six out of ten for paint and color i have to give it a two out of ten basically because it is not at all painted there's like three blocks that are painted in the boat i think and i'm not even sure and it could definitely it really needs some paint it's just gray so i think I'll, i can only give it a two out of ten i'm sorry it, it should it really needs some paint now i forgot how i used to rate speed because basically there's like this number that i would give if it doesn't go faster than the water if it just goes normal speed uh let's pretend that that is like six I think maybe it was like six if your boat just doesn't have anything special like wheels or uh, jets or something. 
then, and it goes normal speed like the water, then it's a six, I think. So let's just give it a six, except it does have actually have a thruster in the back, which can help make it go faster. Um, so 6.5, I'll give it an extra half point for the thruster. So 6.5. Okay, so details just means like the little things that you have added, little cool things that you don't see at first when you look from far away, but when you look closer, they're actually pretty cool. So this boat actually has several things that I really like, some details. First off, we have the oldest chests in the game. I don't even have these. I'm not jealous. No, I'm not. I'm not jealous. Really cool. A lot of people seem to do this where they put their favorite items in like a one spot, like a treasure room. And I guess it's, it's pretty cool. Another thing that's really cool about this boat is the chair elevator. He, he made this elevator for with two chairs. Actually, it's two at the same time. And one person can sit on one side and another person can sit on the other side. And you go up or down at the same time it actually looks really cool i think i like the stairs that go up and they go into a room where there's a tv where you can actually sit there's multiple chairs so it has a tv and that is pretty cool and it also has these extra brown chairs near a window and if you sit there you can just look out the window and you can see where you're going or if you're backwards like me you can see where you just were i guess so i like all of the details so i think this boat is pretty good in details so i'm actually going to give it a seven and a half out of ten for details then the last thing that we rate a boat for is effectiveness. This basically means how much a boat is going to make it to the end. Um, so I think this boat can probably make it to the end a lot because it's made out of metal. So basically, if your boat is made out of strong materials, then it's probably going to make it to the end. Um, and all you have to worry about is if your chairs break. And this boat actually everywhere where there's chairs, it has multiple chairs, which which is very good which makes your boat better because if your chair breaks you can just sit on another one so that's really good so i think this boat uh i think i'm going to give it a seven and a half out of ten uh for effectiveness so when i add up all of these numbers and i take the average is about a 5.5 .5. So then there's a few more things that we do with the number that your boat has, a 5.5. However, you get a bonus point if you make it to the end. And guess what? This boat made it to the end. So that's an extra bonus point, which makes it a 6.5. Um, let's see, then I actually take away a point if the boat is not finished. Now, he didn't say it wasn't finished, so I guess this is the finished boat. I don't know, so I guess you, I won't take a point away, so still 6.5. And that is actually the end number. I kind of want to add a new thing, is you should add a blocky source. So if you don't know the blocky source or the dino of good fortune is the logo of the channel. It's this little dinosaur, I'm making it right here. You should put it on your boat for good fortune, okay? You should put a dino on your boat for good fortune. It's important. It will give you luck on your journey to the end. Trust me, okay? It really works. Okay, I will give you a bonus point. I don't know. Should I give a full bonus? That's like a lot. Okay, I won't give you a one full bonus point for... Okay, maybe like half a point or even one, like point 0.1. I'm not really sure. So yeah, basically, based on my judging, this boat gets a 6.5, which I think is pretty nice considering that it's kind of ugly, it's kind of gray, it's kind of boring sometimes. So a 6.5 is pretty good. Tell me if I should try to do this. I think I'm just going to try and see how far I get, if I can actually try to make daily videos about this or if I will get bored or if it will be too hard. Uh, I will also use my face cam. Right now I'm not using my face cam because I actually recorded this video last night when it was dark. So I could put a face cam, but it would just be dark. So that's why I didn't have a face cam and I'm recording this uh, audio later today. Um, so yeah, usually I will have my face cam probably and I will just react to people's boats and I will try to make it as fair as possible so everyone can join, but it's really hard. Basically, we use this extra account that I have called uh, Build Show. And if you add it, then 
Um, then I try to accept as many as possible until the list is full. And then I just see who joins me and they get to show their boat. That's usually how we do it. Also, I should say that I probably wouldn't do videos in the weekends, just live streams, because I still want to keep doing live streams sometimes. So I'll probably just do the weekends because that's when most people have like no school or work or whatever. Uh, so yeah, I think that would be pretty cool. Try to show boats and do live streams in the weekends. And also we will do other random videos sometimes like extra. I don't know. Okay, let me know what you think. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to stomp like a dinosaur, stomp on the like button, the subscribe button, everywhere you want, stomp on it, follow me on Twitter, everything. Okay, bye.